15 feet of biz, roughly. Why don't you pick that sucker up and show the camera? Here, I got you. Is it on? Yeah. That's a good size bug, though. That's a monster down in the Keys. That is what we were hoping for. This isn't even the spot we were thinking they'd be on. I broke this trying to put the zip tie on him and it kept slipping off. That's why you carried him up? Yeah. Oh, didn't know you were there. Uh, we gotta put him in the live well or what? Yep, let me turn it on. Go ahead and put the plug in it. Nice find, Mike. My turn. Headed down on this ledge. Hoping to find some hogfish for dinner. That's my goal anyway. A little, uh, Goliath grouper laying on his side there trying to hide. And I don't know if you can see him yet. Yeah, there's a turtle right here. On the bottom, taking a rest. Little hogfish. Get him. Trying to make my way back to this turtle so I can show you guys. And lo and behold, there's another hogfish. These guys aren't big ones, but they're keepers, and I love hogfish. A bunch of pork fish there. There's another hog, and he's on to me. And watch them come out from underneath the ledge through this hole. There's a couple decent sized AJs. Those would be close to keepers I'm sure and off in the distance in the sand you can see a monster gag grouper dang it it's like they know they're out of season Yeah, there's the turtle right underneath the ledge there. Now watch this bat fish. These things are so cool. He's behind the turtle right now. I'm trying to adjust my camera so I don't have to point the, uh, the gun at the turtle. Lens is a little fogged up. Apologize for that. Now look at the bat fish. They are so cool. So their pectoral fins they allow them to basically walk around on the bottom. Look at him just chilling right on top of him. Well, I don't want to bother him too much, so I'll let him take his nap. This is an example of these gag grouper. It's like they just know that we're not allowed to uh, harvest them right now. He just swims right up to me. 
Literally almost poke him in the nose. He, he looks bigger underwater. That's a good one, bud. Yeah, not bad. Daddy, baby. Daddy, baby. <laughs> Shut up, Scott. <laughs> oh. Not bad. Got the mang, nice mang too. There were some big ones down there. I shot one on the way down, the water column, then shot one underneath the ledge. Heck yeah. That's a stud right there. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Headed back down on a different spot. A little foreshadowing right here. Big old lionfish. Trying to look underneath some of these little holes to see if there's any lobsters down here no luck some big mangroves i'm going to take one of those And watch all these AJs. Oh, you'll see coming from the right side of the screen. Here comes a nice hogfish. He is lit up. Here he comes. Look at how black he is on the nose. Beautiful fish. I know it's a good shot. I watched him swim into this hole here. Trying to let it settle down so it's not so dusty. And I can barely see, but it looks like that's the end of his tail right there. I touch him just to see, and he gives me a little flick. I've got to get him now, though, because he's getting back up underneath that ledge too far. Here's where it gets interesting. So what I'm doing now is I'm just keeping the shaft on the ground and I'm trying to drag him out of the hole without having him pop off. A lot of times your shaft will hit a rock or something and not go all the way through the fish when they're that close to the bottom. So I don't want to lose this guy. And as I'm sticking my hand between him and the bottom, something feels like it's poking me. And all I can think is, oh great, more eel or something. But nope. Got a bonus mangrove. Twofer. Getting low on air, so I'm gonna go back over, put these guys on the stringer. And now I'm going to go back over and find that big lionfish, which turns out to be a not so good idea. Kind of pinching him against the the gun so he doesn't slide down the shaft. I'm going up to do my safety stop, and lo and behold, he slides down the shaft and nails me. Right now, I'm thinking eh, I'm okay. Doesn't hurt yet. I'm 
sure most of you know, lionfish are super invasive. They've got a big mouth and they eat the fry of just about any fish. Unless they take a lot of food away from indigenous fish. And they multiply like crazy. Yep, starting to feel it now. That, that lionfish got me good though, dude. Look at it. Two spines. <laughs> oh. <sighs> that, uh, that'll be perfect. With your hogfish and his too, I'll have plenty for that. No, plenty. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> it's so funny. Mike said he was going to go down and shoot some, some of those lionfish and put them on his stringer and I was like oh I don't recommend that and then what do I do he yeah. was on my shaft and he slid down and got me yeah. oh they hurt so bad uh, don't they I ate them. pee on it oh. <laughs> I don't have to pee you want to pee on it Mike <laughs> sometimes love don't feel like it should a baby hurt so good Hurt so good. Oh, dude. <laughs> Look at how fat it's gotten Come already. Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. Definitely doesn't feel like it should. Yeah, I've been there, man. Yeah, this is a good one. I mean, I've I got that one that got me all the way down the hand, like six different spots, but it was like a light tap, you know. I think it's just because this one went right. Tap it, tap it. Oh, I got I got rock bad. <laughs> Like five, six times. Man, my whole hand swelled up like the size of a softball. His hand's getting used to the venom at this point, so it's not as bad. Oh, he, get, he gets he stung, gets stung almost so like times. every other time we go diving, he gets hit by the lionfish. <laughs> <laughs> there's Dom and then there's me. <laughs> well, I've never seen anybody get one that bad. <laughs> at, least, at least it was worth it. <laughs> Back at the house. Man, oh man, I don't wish this on nobody. Hold on a minute. Let's show everybody. Look at that one, bud. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> Come out and say hello, big fella. Dude. You're starting off the new year just like you did last year. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. So, Mikey's going to take the tail. This guy's still kicking a little bit, but we're going to uh, pop the tail off him. Then I'm going to keep the, uh, the carapace and uh, make some something with it. Maybe to go with the fish. We'll Even see. The carapace. All right, so really all you got to do is just take the knife, slide it inside there, and work your way all the way around. Just like so. A lot of people will just twist them. It leaves the meat, doesn't it? Yeah, sometimes it can. T, come here. Breaking that off. Come here, buddy. T, get over here. Stay, buddy. A little post-mortem colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, the poop vein. Hooray. <laughs> See how black <laughs> their uh, blood is? It's bizarre. And it'll get so sticky, like super glue. Mm -hmm. There it is. What's up? Oh, slippery little sucker. You're not that little, but not as big as the one Mike shot. I don't think uh, one, two, 
three, four, five. I don't think that many legs and the little bit of meat that's inside here is going to do what I want it to do. But we're going to use it because I've been dying to make this recipe. We're going to make lobster bisque. Now, we're going to use the shell, but we're going to use the meat from these carcasses. And uh, that is going to be the meat base with the flavor from all the lobster shell. It's going to be epic. Let's get started.
I got a, I got a couple of test dummies because I don't know how this is gonna taste. Well, actually I do because I snuck a little bit, but. Oh, yummy. That looks so good. Ooh. Babe, you making us a bowl? Look at her, she's like, uh, yeah. Delicious. Is it? Oh yeah. There's yeah. very little lobster, but we That's use the good. hogfish <laughs> for the meat. Nothing went to waste on this one. That's super good. Yeah. Mm. That's really good. Is it? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Success! I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, but man, what a way to use everything. Normally we'd put the uh, carcasses in our crab traps and get something from that, but. Is this your bowl? Oh, it's mine. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is good. <laughs> wow. Delicious. All right. Well, I was so excited I forgot to say grace, but anyways, we'll do that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Thanks Scott and Mike, Mike for getting the lobster. So that's what we got. So we're going to see you guys in the next one because we're out of here.